I found some corn on the cob. I'm going to show you how to cook them simply with pork ribs and soy sauce. Start by removing a little fat from the pork ribs. Cut them into pieces between the bones. Slice four shallots. Roughly chop four cloves of garlic. Cut four mini papers into pieces. If you like spicy, you can add one or more chilies. Mince one spring onion. Cut two ears of corn in two pieces. Be careful not to cut yourself. I like to make small pieces. They will be soaked in sauce. Crush one teaspoon of peppercorns. It will give a delicious flavor to the meat. Prepare one tablespoon of brown sugar. You can also use white sugar. For the seasoning sauce, in a bowl, put five tablespoons of light soy sauce and half teaspoon of dark soy sauce to give a nice color to the meat. In a pan, heat it over high heat. Put two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one ounce of butter. When the butter has melted, add the shallots and chopped garlic. Occasionally stir for two minutes. Add the pork ribs. One quarter teaspoon of salt, the crushed paper, and the sugar. Mix and let sear for two minutes. Stir from time to time. The surface of pork ribs will caramelize slightly. Add the soy sauce. Occasionally stir for two minutes. The pieces of meat will soak up the flavors of the sauce. Add the two cups of water to cook and tenderize the meat. Put the lid on and let simmer over medium heat for 30 minutes. During this period, stir twice for even cooking. Then add the corn pieces. Leave them on the surface without mixing. Put the lid back on and let them steam for 7 minutes, still over medium heat. This way, they will keep their delicious taste. It is important not to overcook them. We want them to remain tender, juicy and crunchy. Then remove the lid and turn on high heat. Occasionally stir for 3 minutes. The sauce thickens and the flavors intensify. Finally add the mini papers, turn to medium heat and mix from time to time for 2 minutes. The pork ribs and corn on the cob with the soy sauce are ready. Sprinkle with spring onion. Enjoy with jasmine rice. Bon appétit! Enjoy the ribs and corn with your fingers. That's how delicious it is. The pork ribs are very tasty. The corn is cooked to perfection. First, 
by steaming. They are tender, juicy, and sweet. And then mix with the sauce. We obtain a very pleasant, sweet, salty contrast with a light scent of butter. Thank you. See you at the next homemade dish on Morgan Recipes.